wildebeest are on the move. The Great Migration has begun. Over one million wildebeest will make their way up from the Serengeti to the Mara. They are following the rains in search of greener pastures. Zebras also come along for the journey. But once they reach the Mara River, tensions are high. The zebra and wildebeest nervously line the banks of the river. They know there's crocodiles down there waiting for them. Eventually, a few zebra approach the water intending to cross. But any movement in the river, even from hippos, can send them right back up the bank to where they started. The wildebeest are slow to enter the water, and for good reason. A croc is patrolling this area. A giraffe, seemingly unbothered by the crocs, makes its way across the river. This bold move by the giraffe has given the wildebeest the courage to follow, and the chaos begins. The pressure from the build-up of thousands of wildebeest will cause the formation to widen. Many will start to jump down the steep slopes of the river banks. This can be potentially fatal to the wildebeest, as a broken leg could mean life or death. The wildebeest that made it safely now flood the fields of the Mara in huge numbers. But where there is life, also comes death. A gathering of this size has caught the attention of the lions. The lioness starts her approach, stalking the wildebeest in the cover 
of the long grass. But the mating season is just around the corner, and her mate is more focused on staying by her side, giving away her position. And the wildebeest are now aware of her intentions. Frustrated by the missed opportunity, the lioness would leave the area. Normally, the male would follow her, but something has caught his eye. A young hippopotamus is wandering right into his path. The hippos make a crucial mistake, turning to run, and the lion makes his move. He takes the hippo down by biting his neck and pulling with his powerful claws. Once the hippo is on the ground, the lion wants to go for the neck to kill the hippo, but he will not risk injury from being bitten. So, he's forced to eat as the hippo is still alive. This is a meal that will feed the pride for several days. A zebra, isolated from the herds, is trying to cross the river. But the splashing has attracted a crocodile. Without the safety of the herd, it's too late for this zebra. It will not be able to escape the powerful jaws of the croc. As the wildebeest continue into the river, more crocs have sensed their presence. The croc singles out a young wildebeest and drags it under the water to drown it. The crocs often will let the carcasses sit for several days to soften the flesh, allowing it to be torn apart easier. The crocodiles aren't the only ones taking advantage of the migration. The lions have taken down a wildebeest of their own. The males eat first.
once he is done, the rest of the pride takes their turn. A cheetah has also made a kill, but he is cautious, making sure the lions haven't noticed. If they did, they would surely take his meal and may even kill him as well. Once he's determined it's safe, he will eat very quickly. The scavengers have started to arrive and as the cheetahs leave, they will have their share. Hyenas take what they can. Whatever is left goes to the vultures. In the end, there is nothing left but bones. <laughs>